In this video, we're going to discuss cross tabs. We have a data set here that looks at um, children who are myopic or not and whose parents are myopic or not. We also have ethnicity, gender, age, and so forth. Note we only have, in this data set, we only have one record per uh, child. When we do a cross tab, we want all the observations to be independent. We don't want to have any, um, we, we don't want to count a particular child twice in any of these things. We only want to uh, look at them once. That's why we've aggregated this file to uh, the first time that we saw them. So to do a cross tab, you go to analyze. It's a descriptive statistic. So we go into there and we look at cross tabs. We're going to put mom in the rows and we're going to put the child in the columns. Let's see what we get. So we have counts. There are 3,298 records, children. Of those 3,298, um, 2738 were never myopic during the length of the study and 560 were developed myopia. 2523 moms were not myopic, 775 were. So raw numbers are nice, but it really percentages are better. So let's look at this again, analyze descriptive cross tabs. We can come over here to cells. Let's look at the row percents. So what this says is that when the row percents add up to 100% this way, and the percents down in the totals, these are these are called marginal totals. The 25, 23, 7. 25, all these are on the margins, they're marginal totals. So the marginal total for children, 83% were never myopic, 17% developed it during the course of the time. If your mom was not myopic, then 83% of the children did not develop myopia. If your mom was not myopic, 16% developed. If your mom was myopic, then never is 80 and 19 is above. And we could look at it from a slightly different way by doing our script, oops, by doing our frequencies. Um, geez. by doing our cross tabs and instead of row percent let's look at columns now notice that the summary is a hundred percent you can do them all at once if you want to it just gets pretty confusing so now we consider of the uh, moms who were, well, actually it goes this way, of the children who were never myopic, 77% of their moms were not myopic, and 22% were. Of those who developed during the study, 72% of the moms were not myopic, and 27% were. So when you um, specify row or column percentages, it's important to state specifically uh, which way you're going. So for example, in this case, we did column percents. So, would, so you would say, it's important to say of those children, who were never myopic, 77% of the parents 
were not myopic. When we go by rows, then we say, of those parents who were not myopic, 83% of their children were never myopic during the study. So direction is important. Notice these percentages are different in these cells, and it has to do with the direction. So when it goes this way, you say uh, when you're when you're looking at the column percents, um, which add up to 100% down here, you're talking about of those children who were never myopic. 77% of their moms were not myopic. You look where the 100% is, and it's, it's, that's the condition of those who were never myopic, of those children who developed myopic. 100% is over here. Of those moms who were not myopic, percent children were not or were. Of those moms who were myopic, percent of children who were not and who were. Pay attention to the way you state the, uh, the percentages.